Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to integrate the top-down WASD character controller inside RPG Builder. First of all, of course, make sure you have a ready-to-use RPG Builder project. And after that, you can import the top-down WASD character controller from either the Asset Store or the Package Manager. The import should be pretty quick. It's done. So now you see that under the Bleak folder, we now have a controllers folder and under that the top-down WASD. So quickly, we can already go in the demo and make sure that everything is working. So we can zoom, we can rotate the camera, we can move around, we can jump and so on. Okay, all good. Now you see that it's still using the placeholders animation, right? But I'm going to show you a bit later in this video how to switch those. Uh, so now I'm just going to go back to the uh, main menu. And uh, what I'm going to do here is look at the um, controller folder and find the integration folder here. So I'm going to double click that and you see that it's going to integrate uh, RPG Builder for you. So just click import on everything. Done. Now the next step is to go under general races. Of course, whatever races uh, you will have here. In my case, it's still using the demo of RPG Builder. So I only have the humans. And what we want to do here is go under the RPG Builder integration folder and simply drag and drop the new character prefab. If you select it, you see that um, it is a normal RPG Builder character prefab, all set up for you with the top-down WASD controller. Now, if you want to learn more about this uh, specific component and all the settings you have and how the controller works in general, you can watch the previous video I posted before that, uh, which is covering just that. Anyway, now we can also drag and drop the um, override here in the animator. If you don't want to use uh, animator override, you can simply turn that off. Um, but then you need to make sure to assign the right um, controller here in the controller slot. Okay, I'm just going to leave this on and then I'm going to go under settings, items, weapon override. And I'm also going to drag and drop the um, the one in the axe, just for the sake of this video to show you um, how to replace your animations. So uh, now one last thing actually before going in game is to go in the demo scene or of course your own scenes. And if you were still using the third person uh, camera setup, you can disable both camera rig and player input. But what you can do is grab the main camera here, copy, control C, control V. And now we just need this one um, outside. Now, to make sure that your character prefab is going to find this camera when it is spawned in the scene, you can go ahead here and make sure that the name you have here matches the name of your camera. You, of course, can have any name you want here, but just make sure that those names are matching here and that init camera is on. All good. Now, let's go ahead and uh, go in game to see if everything is working for us. So, first of all, as you can see, perfect. We now have the top down camera. We have the IK on the character that's working automatically for us. And we can move around, we can jump, and we can even sprint now because it's an RPG Builder integration, right? Which means that you get access to all the RPG Builder features such as sprinting, stun, uh, knockback, um, the motion effect for like dodge, roll, something like that. Now, as you can see, it's still using the placeholders animation, which makes things look, uh, well, not great. Because as you can see right now, I'm supposed to strafe, but it's still playing the uh, walk forward or rather run forward animation. So let's, uh, I'm going to show you how to change that. So you can of course do this outside of play mode, but in this case, I'm going to show you directly um, in game. So what you can do here is select your character and click on the controller here. It's going to show you which one is currently active. So um, right now I'm going to go ahead and go in combat actually. It's going to switch to the combat one. And uh, what I'm going to do here is select it. And here you can see that we have all the list of animations to change. If you wanted to change the animations directly in the animator, you can just double click that and uh, go in the um, base layer. Let me turn off auto live link. Okay. And here you see that you have the jump, falling, and the blend tree. So you can just select this and replace those. But in this case, I'm going to use the override. So I'm just going to go ahead here select the override and replace all of those one by one. Now to do this, you of course need your own animation. So either animation you make yourself or animation that you buy from the store. 
In this video, I'm going to show you um, um, with the explosive pack. So this one is the RPG character mechanism uh, animation pack. And I'm going to use the 200 axe animations because that's the weapon I have equipped for now. So let me go ahead and drag and drop fall inside fall. Idle inside idle. Then we have a jump here. And now we have the run animation. So here, run backward left. As you can see, it's very easy because you have the name of the animation you should drag and drop on the left. So it's literally just checking the name, grabbing the animation, drag and drop, and it's done. Here we have run backward, run forward left, run forward right, and a few more. Run forward here and then run left and run right okay and done so uh, now i'm going to go to full screen so we can see better now already you see that the idle animation is much better we're actually holding the axe now so now if i work backward it's an actual uh, work backward animation and now i can strafe uh, left and right so what was not looking great before is looking a lot better and a lot a lot more polished now right um i can also fight as you can see um i can sprint so yeah pretty cool all of this you know working out of the box for you you don't really have uh, much to do uh for all that so i'm going to change the key from a mouse for example so i can you know move and attack easier and as you can see everything is blending for you like for for example, when you're um, moving and attacking at the same time. So right now you see that if I attack right now, it's going to play the full animation. But if I move and attack, it's, you know, also possible. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, let me know. If there is any part that you're still confused about, let me know in the comment or on Discord. And see you in the next video.